we have in the previous video i have done allied angles i have given all the formulae that are there in allied angles they have been given now we are going to use these formulae and we are going to solve some problems from old question papers which i have selected now once again i request you to please share uh, uh, subscribe and uh, comment on my videos now these uh, videos have been done for the benefit of you people you have to subscribe it and make me successful now we are, i am doing problems from on allied angles trigonometric ratios of allied angles from old question papers now 9sc 01m this is the paper april may 2018 april may 2018 uh, i have selected some question paper questions section a from section a i have taken problem number 8 now this doesn't exactly come in allied angles but still i have selected it if the problem is like this if sin theta is equal to 4 by 5 4 by 5 find tan theta this is a problem for 2 marks it's a problem for 2 marks he has given one ratio of angle theta and he is asking you to tell or find out the other ratio of this here one thing he has not said is where this theta is whether it is in first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant or fourth quadrant if nothing is given like this what we will do is we will assume that theta is acute that is it is less than 90 degree it is less than 90 degree that means it is the angle is in first quadrant in the first quadrant so assuming that what i do is i know by definition sin is sin theta is sin of an angle is a ratio of opposite side to hypotenuse opposite to hypotenuse so i will draw a rough sketch like this i will call this as o a b any name you can call it so opposite means it is a b and o a is the hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse this is the opposite this is angle theta it is in first quadrant now its value is given as 4 by 5 that means a b is 4 a b is 4 and O A is five. So if they give one trigonometric ratio, any one trigonometric ratio of theta, we know two sides of the triangle. If we know two sides of the triangle, we can get the third side by using Pythagoras theorem because that will be a right angle triangle. So O B square will be equal to O A square minus A B square because you know Pythagoras theorem says. in any right angle triangle this uh, hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares on the other two sides that is oa square is equal to ab square plus ob square ab square has sent that side so it becomes minus so this will be 5 square minus 4 square that is 25 minus 16 it is 9 so ob will be equal to square root of 9 that is it can be either plus or minus 3 but here it will be plus 3 because it is in we have taken it to be in first quadrant so this side will be 3 3 so if they are 4 and 5 this side will be 3 now i know all the three sides so i can get the trigonometric ratios of any trigonometric ratio of angle theta can be got now what he has asked me to find out is tan theta tan is opposite by adjacent that is ab by ob ab by ob ab is 4 and ob i have got as 3 so this is the answer this problem carries 2 marks 2 marks right very easy 2 marks 
I'll remove this, I'll rub this and go to the next problem. Again from the same paper, same question paper of April, May 2018. Now there are three problems in section C. Section C there are three problems. The <laughs> problems are 27, 28 and 29. Three problems, five marks each. In 27 he says, problem number 27, if tan theta is equal to 3 by 4, 3 by 4, where theta is acute, where theta is acute, means it is less than 90 degrees or it is in first quadrant, find the value of, find the value of 3 sin theta plus 4 cos theta divided by 3 sin theta minus 4 cos theta. This is for 5 marks. 5 marks. Again, he has given, he has given one, I'll use the same, uh, this thing here. He has given one ratio. The ratio given is, tan theta is given here. So tan theta is 3 by 4. We know tan is opposite by adjacent. You have to keep repeating, writing this formula again and again so that you become used to it, you become uh, accustomed to it. Opposite by adjacent, that is AB by OB. It is given as 3 by 4. That means AB is 3, this is 4. Now I don't know OA. I know AB is 3 and this is 4. I don't know OA. Using Pythagoras theorem, OA square will be equal to AB square plus OB square. That is 3 square plus 4 square. That is 9 plus 16, 25. So OA will be root of 25. Square root of 25 that is plus 5. This hypotenuse will be always plus. Wherever it is, in whichever quadrant it is, it will be plus. Now, to know the value of this function, I must know the value of sin theta and cos theta. I want sin theta and cos theta. Sin theta, I know, is opposite by hypotenuse. That is, opposite is AB. AB by OA that is for uh, 3 by 5, this I have got as 5, 3 by 5 and cos is, cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse, that is, that is AB by OB, uh, sorry, OA, AB by OA. That is 4 by 5. Cos is 4 by 5 and sin is this thing. So now, if I substitute it here, what do I get? 3 into 3 by 5 plus 4 into 4 by 5 divided by divided by 3 into 3 by 5 minus 4 into 4 by 5. Now the problem got reduced to arithmetic ratios. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division of ratios. Now I get, what I get here is 9 by 5 plus 16 by 5. 3 threes are 9, 9 by 5. 4 fours are 16, 16 by 5. Here I get 9 by 5 minus 16 by 5. This is addition of two fractions. So LCM is 5, 9 plus 16. Here subtraction of two, this thing, LCM is 5, 9 minus 16. This 5, this 5 gets cancelled. Numerator you get 25 and denominator you get minus 7. So the value of this expression is minus 25 by 7. You get 5 marks for that.
नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी एट सेम पेपर सेम क्वेश्चन पेपर प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी एट गोस लाइक दिस विदाउट यूजिंग विदाउट यूजिंग टेबल्स आर कैलकुलेटर फाइंड दी वैल्यू ऑफ और सिंप्लीफाई साइन फोर ट्वेंटी कॉस वन फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी डिग्रीज प्लस कॉस थ्री हंड्रेड कॉस थ्री हंड्रेड डिग्री साइन सेवन फिफ्टी डिग्रीज वी आर वी आर आस्क टू फाइंड दी वैल्यू ऑफ दिस नाउ साइन फोर ट्वेंटी कैन बी दिस इज ऑल्सो फॉर फाइव मार्क्स फोर ट्वेंटी कैन बी रिटर्न एस साइन ऑफ थ्री सिक्सटी प्लस सिक्सटी थ्री सिक्सटी प्लस सिक्सटी डिग्री कॉज वन फिफ्टी दिस इज इन सेकेंड क्वाड्रेंट दिस इज इन फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट दिस इज इन सेकेंड क्वाड्रेंट दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज नाइनटी प्लस सिक्सटी और वन एटी माइनस थर्टी आई विल प्रिफर वन एटी माइनस थर्टी वेन दी चॉइस इज आवर्स वी कैन यूज टेक रेफरेंस एज वन एटी इंस्टेड ऑफ नाइनटी देन प्लस अगेन हियर दिस कैन बी आई दर टू सेवेंटी प्लस थर्टी और थ्री सिक्सटी माइनस सिक्सटी आई विल आप्ट थ्री सिक्सटी माइनस सिक्सटी सिक्सटी डिग्री दिस विल बी साइन सेवन फिफ्टी मीन्स टू इंटू थ्री सिक्सटी दैट इज टू रेवल्यूशन कंप्लीटेड इट कंप्लीट इट मेक्स सेवन ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज प्लस रिमेनिंग इज थर्टी डिग्री लाइक दैट now again that will come in first quadrant here sin 360 plus 60 will be sin 60 into this is in second quadrant 180 minus 30 cos is negative cos 30 plus this will become cos 60 degree cos is this is in fourth quadrant cos is positive so it will be cos 60 this comes in first quadrant so sin 30 degrees sin 60 is root 3 by 2 into minus cos 30 is also root 3 by 2 plus cos 60 is half into sin 30 is also half so this works out to Minus plus into minus minus root three into root three is three divided by two into two is four plus one into one is one two into two is four. Now the LCM here is four minus three plus one that is minus two by four or it is minus half one by two. This is the answer. Carry is five marks. Next twenty nine. Problem number twenty nine in the same paper. Problem number twenty nine for five marks. See, you will get twenty. It's about seventeen marks here. Prove that. Prove that square root of One minus cos seven eighty degree divided by one plus cos seven eighty degree is equal to one by root three. Root three. We have to prove that this is equal to that. So take the left hand side. Root of one minus cos seven eighty. Divided by one plus cos seven eighty. This is the given problem. Now this is equal to square root of right one as one only. Cos seven eighty can be written as cos two into three sixty. That is seven twenty plus sixty divided by one plus cos two into three sixty plus sixty degree. So. Both come in first quadrant because two into three sixty means it becomes same as zero, two rounds. So this is 
square root of 1 minus cos 60 divided by 1 plus cos, cos 60. Cos 60. Now, square root of cos 60 is half, 1 minus half divided by 1 plus half. Here, LCM in the numerator is 2, 2 is the LCM, you get 2 minus 1 divided by, here again it is 2 is the LCM, 2 plus 1. These two, these two get cancelled, 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, square root of 1 is 1 divided by root 3 that is equal to RHS, right hand side. So we have proved that this is equal to 1 by root 3. That's the problem. <coughs> Next, I take, I move to the another paper. Another paper that is again 9SA01M only. Now I go to November, December 2017, 2017, uh, section A, I have taken two problems and section C again two problems from the same paper. Section A6, question number 6, if tan theta is equal to 3 by 4 and theta is acute and theta is acute that is less than 90 first quadrant find cosec theta 2 marks find cosec theta it carries <coughs> 2 marks draw a rough sketch again a rough sketch OAB can give any name need not be OAB only tan theta we know is if this is theta tan theta is by definition opposite by adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side that is AB by OB now this is given as 3 by 4 that means AB is 3 OB is 4 we have to get OA that is the hypotenuse. OA square is equal to AB square plus OB square. That is 3 square plus 4 square. 9 plus 16. That is root of 25. That will be equal to 5. This is always positive. This is 5. 3, 4, 5. So, sorry. This is 25. 25. So OA will be root of 25. That will be 5. Okay. OA is 5. So what he wants is, he wants us to find out cosec theta. Cosec is the inverse of reciprocal of sine. That is hypotenuse by opposite. You have to keep writing these formulas so that you become familiar. Hypotenuse is OA, opposite is AB. So OA by OB means 5 by 3. This is the value of cosecant theta. If tan theta is 3 by 4, then cosecant theta will be 5 by 3, carries 2 marks. Then next, same paper section A, problem number 7. Problem number 7. Prove that cos 180 minus A cos 180 minus A into cosec 270 minus A cosec 270 minus A is equal to 1 is equal to 1 Take the left hand side again. 
left hand side is cos 180 minus A into cosec 270 minus A 180 minus A means the angle A is in second quadrant in second quadrant cos is negative only sign is positive then a s t c sign is positive so this is negative minus cos a to so cosec 270 minus a here 180 so cos will be cos only here 270 is there cosec will become secant and the angle is 270 minus a means it is in third quadrant in third quadrant cosec which is the reciprocal of sine will be negative minus secant a so minus into minus it becomes plus cos a into 1 by cos a cos a cos a gets cancelled the answer is 1 that is the right hand side this is also a 2 marks question then in the same paper section c i move to section c now section c section c problem number 27 find the value of without using calculator or this thing find the value of sin minus 600 sin minus 600 degree into cos 330 degree minus cos 120 degree into sin 300 degree so this will be minus 600 means see minus 600 means minus 600 means we are moving this side we are moving this way when you complete one round you have completed 360 again if you start from here 540 540 600 minus 600 means somewhere here somewhere here that is it can be written as sine of sine of you take it as 720 minus 600 720 means it will be full two rounds minus 600 into cos 330 can be written as 360 minus 30 minus cos 120 can be written as 180 minus 60 300 can be written as sin 360 minus 30 360 minus 30 minus 30 degree so this will be 720 minus 600 means it will be sin sin of 720 minus 600 120 sin of 120 that becomes it, it becomes positive it comes somewhere here 120 it comes here 720 minus 600 sin 120 cos 360 minus 30 minus cos 180 minus 60 sin 360 minus 30 now this 120 can be written as 180 minus 60 cos 360 minus 30 this, this can be written as 90 plus 30 also but I would prefer to take it as 180 minus 60 minus cos 180 minus 60 sin 360 minus 30 degree 
Why? Because if I take 180, sign will be this will be sign only. 180 minus 60 means second quadrant. This angle is in second quadrant. So it becomes sine of uh, 60 degree. Sine 60 degree. Into cos 360 minus 30. That will be same as plus cos 30. Because this is in fourth quadrant. It is in fourth quadrant. Minus 180 minus 60. It is in second quadrant. It becomes minus cos 60. Cos is negative in second quadrant sin 360 minus 30 that will be minus sin 30 because the fourth quadrant this is in fourth quadrant in fourth quadrant sin is negative so sin 60 is sin 60 is root 3 by 2 cos 30 is also root 3 by 2 minus minus cos 60 minus cos 60 is half this is into minus sin 30 is also half minus into minus that becomes plus so 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 this minus will be as it is because this minus into minus becomes this thing so 4 is the LCM 3 minus 1 2 by 4 that becomes half half is the answer the answer is half it carries 5 marks. <coughs> Next, problem number 28. Problem number 28, same paper. Section C, 28, again for 5 marks. Problem number 28. Prove that. Prove that. Sin 180 minus alpha by cos 270 plus alpha minus cos of minus alpha cos of minus alpha divided by minus alpha divided by so secant 90 plus alpha is equal to sine square alpha. Again, 5 marks. Now, let us take the left hand side. Left hand side, sine 180 minus alpha divided by cos 270 plus alpha minus cos minus alpha divided by cosecant 90 plus alpha slowly 180 minus alpha means it is in second quadrant sine is positive there so it will be sine alpha because this this is 180 sine will remain sine only divided by 270 plus alpha that means it is in fourth quadrant it is more than 270 degree fourth quadrant cos is positive because it is uh, 270 it becomes sin alpha sin alpha minus this is in fourth quadrant minus alpha means it is in fourth quadrant cos is positive so it will be cos alpha divided by second quadrant it will be sin alpha uh, it is positive sin alpha so <coughs> this is what you get so this is 1 minus cos alpha by sin alpha the LCM is sin alpha sin alpha minus cos alpha sin alpha minus cos alpha it becomes or it can be taken as 1 minus tan alpha
वन माइनस कॉट अल्फा वन माइनस कॉट अल्फा साइन अल्फा माइनस दिस विल बी कॉस अल्फा डिवाइडेड बाय कोशिक एंड नाइंटी प्लस अल्फा दिस बिकम्स सी केंट अल्फा सी केंट अल्फा दिस बिकम्स वन वन माइनस कॉस अल्फा डिवाइडेड बाय वन बाय वन बाय सी केंट अल्फा कैन बी रिटर्न एस वन बाय कॉस अल्फा इट बिकम्स वन माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर अल्फा that is equal to sin square alpha that is the right hand side done